racers have been really weird with the release schedule regarding cars that aren't from Cars 3. It seems that they just kind of do whatever they want. I kind of talked about this in my review of the Sheriff's Deputies pack yesterday. I'm super excited that they are expanding past Cars 3. I'm really glad that they're doing that. I think that's so cool and it could definitely add some more longevity to the series. You know, keep it going by having more cars from different movies. They revealed a mini racer Francesco the other day, and a few weeks back, uh, Ramon from Cars 2 uh, was released. And, and let me tell you, I am pumped for more Cars 2 mini racers. And you know I'm super excited because I never use the word pumped. So if I'm actually using it, then you know it's something I'm excited about. Anyway, this Cars 1 McQueen mini racer isn't something I expected to get. I really didn't expect to get a Cars 1 McQueen so soon, um, just because he's so similar to the regular old Cars 3 McQueen. I was going to bring this guy in, but that is the muddy variant. Hold on. There he is. Uh, but I'm really surprised with just how much detail is on this guy and just how different he is from the regular McQueen. And we'll definitely compare and contrast them later on in the review. Anyway, guys, welcome back to yet another review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Piston Cup Rivalry series three pack with cars one lightning as the exclusive car and chick hicks and the king unfortunately as everybody has said chick hicks is his cars three variant he's not an exclusive cars one variant which is it's pretty unfortunate um but still it's nice to get the cars one mcqueen hopefully a cars three chick hicks somewhere down the line but still very unfortunate that it is not the accurate one and launch the back of the packaging. Again, we have McQueen as the first look. Strip Weathers, a.k.a. The King, and Chick Hicks. Then we have uh, the Nighttime and Radio Springs 3-pack, 3-500 Rivalry 3-pack, the second XRS 3-pack with Tim uh, and Brick as the exclusives, and the Sheriff Deputies 3-pack. I've reviewed all three of these packs aside from that one, because I don't have that one. Now let's get these guys out of the package. Alright, so I'm going to start off with Chick Hicks here. Um, he's probably the least interesting. He's been around the longest. He's literally the second car um, on the uh, original Mini Racers pamphlet. So yeah, he's been around a while. There is McQueen, but again, we'll get to him in a couple of minutes. And the King. So taking a closer look at Chick Hicks. Again, it is his Cars 3 variant. So instead of the HTB logo, it says Chick Hicks 86. Very, very impressed with all of the sponsor stickers still looking pretty decent here. Uh, the fact that they still say things is really shocking. You could uh, make out the fiber fuel one. Uh, I believe Little Turkey Pistons there. Mood Springs right next to uh, his name. I'm not going to go through and read all of them because it's hard to see most of them. Uh, even harder to point them out because he's so small. There's an RPM logo on him, which definitely stands out up top. Um, but yeah, all your usual Chick Hicks details. Except on his headlights, he has RSN and 86 since he's now a reporter. Unfortunately, since he is... In one of the earlier minis, he doesn't have writing on his wheels, so he doesn't have his... Amazing Chick Hicks brand uh, tires from Cars 3, which is kind of a shame. Hopefully, I wish they went back and and uh, added more detail to the older Cars wheels. Just look at McQueen here. Here's Cars 3 McQueen, who has light year tires. And then here's Cars 1 McQueen. It's kind of disappointing that they haven't gone back and fixed that. Number 86 on the side, although you can't really see it at the bottom, it says former and forever Piston Cup winner. Or champion, actually, I believe. And we have his signature up at the top. His wheels down there. They even have the Thunderbolt uh, sticker, which is a nice touch. Chick Hicks written on the back. RSN, Racing Sports Network, uh, on the back. The number 86. Some more stickers. Uh, Spearman, RPM, Octane Gain, No Stall, Easy Idle. And there is the other side, which has a RSN logo there. Uh, which is interesting. The other one has it pushed down because of his gas cap. 
Uh, and I believe this side should basically have the same logos as the other side. And there is the base. Now let's move on to the king. I think to this day, the king is still one of the coolest mini racers. I think he was one of the coolest ones when he came out, and I think he still holds up as one of the coolest. Of course, he has his very in-character, kind grin there. Danico logo on the hood, some 43s, 43 up there. The secondary sponsors are pretty minimal. You can't really make them out, but you can see the Piston Cup logo there. You have his Lightyear tires, number 43. Dynaco, his iconic spoiler, although it has been shrunken down a bit, that's okay. Number 43, more Dynaco logos, more 43s, and everything on this side is the same. There is his base, the copyright for 2017 because his uh, diecast, sorry, his mini was released in 2018. That means the king, yeah, the king says 2016, all the first wave minis. Uh, say 2016. It'll be interesting to see what Lightning says. He says 2016 too, even though he's a new release for 2020. He is using the same mold as the 2017 Queen. So, right off the bat, you can see a few uh, notable differences. The Rusty's logo is a bit darker, which I think is accurate. And his eyes are much smaller. I think he even has a wider grin. The expression definitely fits um, the Cars 1 McQueen diecast. Uh, uh, definitely much closer. I think the Cars 3 McQueen is like a bit cuter. His eyes are bigger. He's got more of like a nice grin. This guy seems more in character for Cars 1 McQueen. We have his headlights there, which of course in the first cars are only stickers. And his uh, lucky lightning bolt stickers on either side. We have all of his secondary sponsors. If I could possibly make them out. Um, definitely see Piston Cup up there, uh, Octane Gain, Mood Springs, Gasprin lower down. Unfortunately, these guys, because the stickers are so small, they definitely don't have the best quality. We have the original Classic 95 instead of the Cars 2, Cars 3 style lightning bolt that goes into Flames design. And even his wheels, which I found out when I was comparing the wheels, even his wheels are a bit more detailed, which is very nice, although they are missing that uh, yellow stripe that he should have. 95 up top, of course his signature is there as well. Rusty is on his spoiler, and the back has his rookie stripe, Rusty's medicated bumper ointment, and across the bottom, there's the other side, and there is the base. This is definitely a car they put a whole lot more effort into than I originally expected them to. Again, I thought it would be a long, long time until we got a Cars 1 McQueen, but I'm really happy to have one this soon. And I'm really happy with what they did with him. They made him more than just a repaint of Cars 3 McQueen. They changed up his face and everything. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.